One out of every six women will be a victim of an assault sometime in their lifetime. But a group of women in New Hampshire is fighting to beat those odds. Team Link is a group of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters who are encouraged women to use the skills of the sport on and off the mat. The, the first time I saw, I just saw Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I happened to see a really, really tiny woman showing a self-defense class and the guy she was drilling with was really big compared to her and she just maneuvered him like he was nothing. For me, it's just being able to do something where, yeah, I am small, yeah, I am a female, but I can compete with other guys just because jiu-jitsu was mostly about leverage. First and foremost, having a strategy. So it definitely requires that you think first um, and seeing what kind of positions you would be able to put yourself in. So in a self-defense um, situation, I think being able to think clearly in a potential crisis is first and foremost important. They would show uh, literal things like if the guy takes you down, his, his hands are on your neck, what are you going to do? Real, real situations. If he comes down and tries to grab different places, what are you going to do? And that's how it started and I noticed there was so much leverage over power. I can see my muscles, like I have muscles that I didn't know were there and I can do things that I didn't think I could do, you know, and I'm faster than I ever thought I could be. It's just Kind of like, nice. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was derived from Japan. It focuses on techniques and leverage instead of size and power. This is why the sport appeals to women. Last year, Team Link won third place in the Pan American Championship and will compete next month in the North American Grappling Association. I'm Zhishan Li, Boston Charter.